silent night, holy night. Uh, oh, oh uh, hi there, everyone. Happy holidays, horror freaks. I am your host, the Strange Monkey. Now, last year, I, uh, I reviewed the classic Black Christmas, the original from the 70s, and I said to myself, if I'm going to review this film the next year, I've got to go with an 80s horror film, and we're going to go to a cult classic slasher. I'm talking, of course, about Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. This film is about a young man named Billy, who unfortunately suffers because of an incident that happened when he was a child. His parents are murdered, you know, it's him and his little brother, Ricky, and unfortunately, on Christmas Eve, a man dressed up in a Santa suit killed his parents, and which led to, you know, a childhood growing up in a, in a Catholic school, I believe it was an orphanage, if I'm not mistaken, and the nuns were very strict, and that really messed with him, and as he's an adult, you know, he's working in a department store, and all of this gets to him. He has a psychological breakdown, which causes him to go into a fucking rampage in the town and go on a killing spree. That's the movie right there without giving too much away. That's the basic premise. That's how the movie starts off. You know, all I want for Christmas is this nail removed from my finger. Father Krampus, can we make this happen, please? Anyway, I've got to say... This movie was pretty wild, you know, for an 80s slasher Christmas film. You know, it's one of the good ones. I have to say that. Um, there was a lot of very brutal kills. And, you know, the, uh, the overall premise was great, you know. Because some people have, you know, post-traumatic experiences. And the past can get to someone. It can break you mentally. And in this story, that's exactly what happens to poor... Billy, and I feel bad for him. I do. And it's a shame that this happened to him in the film. I thought part two was going to be nothing but excellent. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong! Maybe I'll talk about that next year. This is not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, I did my research, and the film was very controversial when it came out. You know, there were parents that were protesting against this film. Eventually, it was pulled from theaters after a few days, you know, because parents weren't too happy with this, you know? You're used to family-friendly Christmas films, not some crazy, psychotic killer with an axe and a Santa suit chasing people. No, they didn't want that, but, you know, now we have Christmas horror movies all the time, and it, it's, it's okay now, you know? It's okay. There's no problem here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have got to say that Silent Night, Deadly Night is shamelessly entertaining. And if you are bored this holiday season, for God's sakes, check this movie out. Thank you very much for watching another retro review, holiday season edition, baby. And thank you all for watching. You know what to do. If you, before that, if you liked Silent Night, Deadly Night, Tell me about it in the comments. And what is your favorite Christmas horror movie? What is your absolute favorite? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Daily Motion because I might make the jump because, you know, <laughs> YouTube might be gone next year. I don't know. Anyway, folks, have yourselves a good fright and happy holidays. <laughs> this right here is for you to put on your channel if okay. you want to and strange monkey now strange monkey here uh yes, we're baking kayfabe uh without the glasses it's fine but this this christmas it's the holiday evening season. holidays this is something he doesn't know what I'm gonna give him. He he has no, no idea what's happening. No I want to get his on. genuine 
reaction to this. I didn't have time to wrap it, but it's okay. I want you to close your eyes All right. and, and, and grab what's in here. It better not be a snake or an animal coming out. Okay. Is it one thing or? It's, it's two things. It's okay. two things. I know how you like beanies. Ooh. I see four. I feel like that's a Freddy Krueger bean. Yo! Oh my god! A Freddy Krueger long sleeve shirt for the holiday season. And this is from. I think it's, in, it's from Japan, I think. It's from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. The Dream Warriors. One of the best ones in the franchise. And it says the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 on this side. Has Freddy Krueger on it. This is one of the best gifts ever. Thank you, sir. I, Look yo, at hey, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, put it on. Put, woo! That's what I'm talking about. Wow. This oh my goodness. Man. Thank Got the you. Got shirt and the beanie just in time for the holiday season. Thank you. This is what it's all about. Christmas time. Friends, family. Thank you. Yes, and I had, had to give a little bit of horror to you. Thank you, because everybody knows I love horror, and I don't care if y'all tired of it. I'm going to keep posting the fact that I love horror movies today, tomorrow, forever.